What's happening all about swimming? Season 2, episode 2, Q&A with your boy and Sawini. What is up? We gotta get straight into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Question number one. Will you come and visit Malaysia, more specifically Love One? I'd love to bro, just give me an invite dude. That's a mug for you babe. <laughs> In your club, are there any friendly rivalries and between who? Okay, so I can't actually think of any at the present moment, but there was a time when myself, Chad Leclerc and Miles Brown were all training in the same pool together. And on a Saturday we'd have 400 medley set and it would get intense. The race would be huge. You know, Miles has obviously got that crazy endurance. He can just absolutely kill any set he wants to. Chad, you know Chad, he's one of the best swimmers in the world. And then myself, I swim the 400 medley, you know? So we all just had a really good race battle between us. I mean, remember the one Saturday, we got super hectic. There was a lot of swearing, a lot of shouting, some throwing some things. I think Graham even had to almost jump in the pool and stop a fight or two, bro. You know what I'm saying, dude? But it was, that was a sick friendly rivalry. I think it was so good for training. Okay. Which day is normally the hottest day of the week for swimming training? Love Cervix! That is what? All of us, you guys subscribe like, ah! <laughs> Um, I think Saturday mornings, I don't know, we normally have a 400 medley set where I have to do kind of like a test set and do well in that 400 medley set, so mentally it's quite crazy and physically it's quite enduring, so Saturday mornings, yeah. <laughs> Why are you so used? Like seriously bro, lay off them gates, I don't know bro, I hope they just flip a tape, boy, get in there, boy. I'm not big bro, it's just the camera angle bro. <laughs> what brand of condoms do you use? What are those? Ah! <laughs> God, that's a. Ah. Ay, ay, ay. Be safe, always use protection, yo. Seems like the clouds have come over the sky because it's getting a little bit dark. Sorry about that. <sighs> when you don't feel motivated, what do you do? Just go get some pizza, man. You know, that always makes you feel better. And then you know you're going to work it off the next day. So go get, some, go get yourself some pizza. <laughs> uh, can I be in one of your stories during your prime workout? <laughs> well, it depends, yo. Can you keep up? If you can, then you really, yeah, get me. <laughs> when was the last time you shot? I don't know, I can't remember. <clears throat> can I have your number? <laughs> of course you can have my number. 076703, go follow me on Instagram at Ed Sweeney. Yeah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. It's a bit of a weird one. Um, what would you do if you woke up and your parents were Chinese? Hey, Ma, can we get some meatloaf? Do you play Fortnite? <laughs> Do you breathe, bro? Simple question, dude. <sighs> Have you ever been pregnant? Next question! Okay, mo moving on. Can you say M without your lips touching? <laughs> I don't think I can, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Hello there. What's your deepest fantasy with a woman or a man that you like? Greetings from Paraguay. Next question! If you could be one food, what food would you be and why? Shrink, shrink, yeah, yeet! Ah, oh, what's up? Yeah. Uh, probably cheese, you know? Everyone loves cheese. Am I hot? No. I'm joking. Yeah, I'm joking. I don't even gotta look at your profile, but because you asked that question, it's gonna be a no from me, bud. How good is your handwriting? What age did you represent your country for swimming for the first time? I was 18, I went to Kenya, all African champs, and I got myself a gold medal in the final eye. Yeah! How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I don't know, but it was fun, it was fun saying that. Ay, ay, ay. Can I see you naked? Next question! Do you have any tips to make my breast run faster? So difficult to say, bro. But you know, one thing I can say is that just make sure you finish your kick. I think that's really important. So get those feet together on that pressure kick. That's a simple one that you can do, and it's it's uh, easy. To do. Okay, this is this is actually like quite a good one. I'm gonna fix this one up a little bit because it looks like you used Google Translate to send this message. So I'll just kind of read out what you kind of wanted to say. I'm just gonna say it because I know what you said, so I don't have to read it again. It's silly. Basically the question what kind of was, on your Instagram you're very positive and energetic, are you like this in real life or is it just for Instagram? 
very, very good question. Obviously, people showcase their lives when things are good. You know, when things are bad, people aren't necessarily you know, Instagramming. So for a simple example, when you have the flu or if you're sick, you're not like in bed saying, yeah, I got flu. And if you are one of those people, don't ever do that. We don't want to see you in bed with your flu, okay? No, I'm not always energetic. Sometimes I wake up very tired, but you know what? Some of the times I do like to try, be as positive as I, positive. English is hard. I do like to try be as positive as I can. I like to try get energy from places that I cannot get from inside myself. So I, I, I do like to think of myself as a positive guy. I do like to think of myself as an energetic guy. But no, I'm not always like this. I'm quite uh, sad sometimes. Nah, I mean, we all have our days. <laughs> have you ever got to... Oh. <laughs> Have you ever got turned on by animals? <laughs> you need to go see the doctor, my friend. <laughs> oh my God. No, I haven't. For the record. Next question. What is your favorite exercise to do at gym? I love doing some curls for the girls, baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, some of these questions, I'm feeling a bit sexually assaulted here. Uh, let's carry on though. Do you have big feet? I'm not going to read the rest. You know what? I'm just going to read the first part because I'm going to assume that you're talking about swimming and that the second part you were confused. Maybe you're on drugs. Maybe just doing the old good old crack, you know? Don't smoke crack. Okay, so big feet for swimming. I don't know. For my height, I'm just six foot and I've got a size. Uh, I'm actually not going to say so because I don't know if you're a freak or not. So um, i got feet though. I'll tell you that much. Next question. Hi sir, I'm a national swimmer from Kenya. I'm 14 years old, I'm a fly swimmer. I also like breaststroke. You are one of my greatest inspirations in swimming. Thanks bro, that means a lot dude. <laughs> Keep it up, all about swimming, it's a sport to be in. You know what I mean? If that's something I can say to you right now, being 25, I love this sport. You keep swimming and I want to see you on that world stage. Get medals, baby. Do it, just do it. Wow, some of these questions were a bit outrageous. I was hoping to have a few more, I'm sorry, but uh, about 60% of them were pretty derogatory. So thank you guys for the questions. I hope I answered them as best as I could. Some of them were a little bit crazy and please do not ever message me again, thank you. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm off to Greece, wish me luck, Greek nationals. I'm gonna go give it my all, baby, and then I will be back in South Africa making more videos all about swimming. We out, have a strange swing day. Go follow all about swimming on Instagram, and I will see you. That's it. Yeah, baby!